All right, the other big story we are following this morning, Hurricane Laura's impact on the Gulf Coast. Melissa, we've seen some pretty incredible damage out there. Just gut-wrenching out there, Randy. Now, we were following, of course, Laura's arrival Thursday morning as it moved over land, and 24 hours later, we now have a clearer picture of just how much destruction it caused. Now, Laura slammed into Louisiana and Texas as that Category 4 hurricane with 150 mile-per-hour winds before continuing to weaken throughout the day as it moved inland. Now, this morning, aerial video is giving us a better look at the scale of damage left behind. The storm hit Lake Charles, that's about 40 miles inland, especially hard. Hundreds of homes and businesses were damaged or destroyed. One man hid his family under couch cushions in their bathtub as the eye of the storm passed. When they say to leave, leave, because it's, it's, it's going to be worth it in the long run. Well, state officials are asking people who evacuated to stay away as most of the roads are covered in debris. Most people say they'll begin their own cleanup until help arrives in the next few days. Now, the high winds also blew this Confederate monument to the ground in downtown Lake Charles. Now, earlier this month, the local officials voted to leave it in place for historical reasons. But as you can see there, Mother Nature had other plans.